One of the questions they asked Dario is, look, these models have all of human knowledge memorized. And you would think if a human had this much stuff memorized and they were moderately intelligent, they could be making all these connections between different fields. And there are examples of humans doing this, by the way. Um, there's Donald Swan or something like this. This guy noticed that the, the way, what happens to your brain after magnesium deficiency is exactly uh, the kinds of, I don't know, structure you see during a migraine. So he's like, okay, you take magnesium supplements and we're going to cure a bunch of migraines. And it worked. And there's many other examples of things like this where you just like notice two different connections between pieces of knowledge. Why, if these LLMs are intelligent, are they not able to use this unique advantage they have to make these kinds of discoveries? I think my answer at the moment is that the sort of pre-training objective doesn't necessarily, like it imbues you with this like nice, flexible, general knowledge about the world, but doesn't necessarily imbue you with the like the skill of making like novel connections or like research. Yeah. The, the kinds of things that uh, people are trained to do through PhD programs and through like sort of the process of exploring and interacting with the world. Um, and so I, I think like at a minimum, you need significant RL in at least similar things to, to be able to like approach like making novel discoveries. And so I would like to see some early evidence of this as we start to build models that are sort of interacting with the world and trying to make scientific discoveries and, yeah. like, and sort of like modeling the behaviors that we expect of people in these positions. Because yeah. I don't actually think we've, we've done that in a, in like a, a meaningful or scaled way as, as a, a field, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, riffing off that with respect to RL, I wonder if models currently just aren't good at knowing what memories they should be storing. Mm. Like most of their training is just predicting the next word on the internet and remembering very specific facts from that. But if you were to teach me something new right now, I'm very aware of my own memory limitations. And so I would try to construct some summary mm -hmm. that would stick. And models cur currently don't have the opportunity to do that. Memory scaffolding in general is just very mm. primitive right now. I right, mean, like cold place Pokemon. E exactly, right? yeah. yeah. We're like, someone worked on it, it was awesome, it got far. But uh, another excited Anthropic employee then like iterated on the memory scaffold and was able mm. to like very quickly improve on it. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that's one. I do also just wonder if models are idiot savants. Um, the best analogy might be to Kim Peek. So Kim Peek uh, was born without a corpus callosum, if I recall correctly. Um, each hemisphere of his brain operated quite independently. Uh, he could read a page of a book. So he'd open a book, there'd be two pages visible. Each eye would read one of the pages, huh. uh, and he had, like, a perfect encyclopedic memory of, like, everything he'd ever read. Um, but at the same time, he had other debilitations, yeah. functioning socially, these sorts of things. Um, and it's just kind of amazing how good LLMs are at very niche topics, but can totally fail at other ones still.